Hello. Hello. Hi. How is everybody? Welcome, welcome to Fairbones Kitchen. Oh. That one was a little scary, huh? Just don't have my lighting quite right, guys. Sorry. Got snow in my freaking hair. Good golly, stupid snow. My Facebook feed is very dark, you guys. I apologize. I apologize. Hello, Miss Gail. How are you? Hello. Welcome, welcome. Okay, I, I think I'm done fiddling. Guess what? Facebook is just going to be a little bit darker. No big deal, right? It's bothering the piss out of me, though. I can't help it. Maybe if I do the other light. Nope, still no good. All right. Just going to ignore it. Just going to pretend like it didn't happen. Welcome, welcome to Bare Bones Kitchen. Excuse me for being so fiddly. I apologize. If you have bare essentials or bare knowledge, I hope to inspire you to make something amazing for yourself, your family, or your friends. Whatever. We don't judge here. Cheers, y'all. I am drinking white chocolate peppermint tea. It is delicious. If you are a fan of teas or peppermint, you will probably like this. I think I bought it last year. I know I've drank it on the show before, so. All right, so this is going to be a fun one for me because... I have never done a stromboli with a pre-made crust before, but I bought a pizza crust. So if you don't know what a stromboli is, it's kind of like a pizza pocket, sort of. Only less, less uh, sauce. So we're just going to pop this bad boy open. I have my oven set to 400 degrees. I have some foil down on my pan because I like a nice, bright, shiny, and I don't want to scrub the crap out of everything. So... Yeah, that's how I roll. That's how I'm doing it. And now this top one is just not even... Sorry. Sorry, Instagram folks. Top one's just not doing it for me. I don't even know what the deal is here. It's super, super dark and... <sighs> life problems. Life problems. This is, this is my life problems right now. Oh, my biscuits just popped too. Yay. If we can get some better light, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to do it or not. I don't know. It is what it is. I can't do anything else about it. Look at that. It just popped. I didn't even have to do anything. I guess it's because it's a little warm, huh? On the stove. On the stove. So stromboli is kind of like a big pizza pocket. And typically I would make this dough homemade. But I don't do a lot of baking on this show because oftentimes the things that I want to bake are, um, they take a long time. Because like yeast spreads and cinnamon rolls and stuff like that take a long time. And I haven't quite figured out the process to speed that up yet. Boy, I'm everywhere. Hello, Rhonda. How are you? My poor Facebook fans are like everywhere. I'm sorry, you guys. It's too dark. It won't stay where it's supposed to stay. It's like I'm struggling. The struggle is real today. So I apologize for that. All right, now that I'm maybe done, maybe screwing around with that. I did bust out a, 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 a Christmassy sweatshirt because I was freezing ass cold when I got home. And so, yeah, that's why I did it. I couldn't find the shirt I was really looking for. And this one's actually my sister's, I do believe, from a few Christmases ago now. I think my daughter was wearing it. All right, so we got our pizza crust, our pre-made pizza crust. Again, we're making a stromboli. Let me see if I can rattle on 500 million more times. And again, I'm gonna cheers you all because this tea is delicious. It's delicious. So I have some pesto. Feel free to use whatever you would like to use. If you want to do, um, oh, it's a screw top. <laughs> uh, if you want to do Alfredo, if you want to do spaghetti sauce, like or a pizza sauce or whatever. If you've watched long enough, you know that my son loves pesto and he doesn't like very much. But ironically enough, he is a green kid. He loves most things that are green, with the exception of peas. And maybe I, uh, maybe he likes peas. I couldn't even really tell you because I don't like peas. So I don't often buy them. We're just gonna put a couple blobs of this down here. And remember that pesto is made with basil and Parmesan cheese, so you don't necessarily need extra cheese, but come on, why wouldn't you want it, right? 
Got notifications now. Good golly. And I'm going to do it for both sides just because. Just because I want to. Because I want to. Do you guys like pesto? Are you fans of pesto? Let me know. And I know you're all probably tired of turkey and leftovers. And side note for that, side note for that, you are going to want to get rid of those leftovers, absolutely anything left by today or tomorrow, the very latest, if you haven't already gone through them. All right. And then I just have some shredded chicken. I just bought it. Um, again, not something I typically do, but I was like, I just want to do something quick and easy for these folks. They've been cooking for days. Been cooking for days. And we're just gonna lay some of these bad boys down here. Little chunks here, I'm gonna tear it apart a little bit. This is a rotisserie chicken, I think, that was prepackaged. So I'm sure it has all kinds of good crap in it to keep it, you know, looking delicious. <laughs> Love it. See, there goes that Facebook feed again. I don't know what the deal is with that one. I'm sorry, Rhonda, it's a little sideways right now. Give me a moment and I'll fix it. And anybody else that's over there watching, because y'all are sideways. And not in the fun you've been tipping up the bottle too much, which I'm not even doing tonight, which is what makes it that much worse. Quick rinse, quick rinse. All right, so maybe, maybe I can get you guys to stay right there. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. It's kind of dippy. See, I'm like dipping down. People on Instagram are like, what is she doing? First thing she noticed was the Christmas shirt. Awesome. Things are really good, actually. They're really good, Rhonda. Thank you for asking. And then I'll have some Italian cheese. Just a nice little cheese blend. Man, I know that usually I fiddle a little bit with this when I first start, but it's really driving me crazy tonight. So we've got our cheese, our pesto, our chicken, or whatever fillings you want to use, you guys. Whatever fillings you want to use. And then, of course, Zane, literally 15 minutes ago, says, You know, if we got bacon still, Mom, let's do some of that bacon, because nothing's better than bacon. So I did some bacon, and I ran out of paper towels, so I used the freaking ad from this week. Look at that. Because why not, right? I'm just going to throw some of this bacon on here, too. Or all of it, whatever. Whatever works for you. I'll just leave him a little. I'll leave him a little bacon. All right, so now we're just going to take our sides, and we're going to cross them over. This is super easy, you guys. Easy peasy. Lemon peasy. I guess I better do the right side first, huh? The correct side first. And then we're just going to purse that bad boy up. I have made these with my niece and nephews before. They have a lot of fun doing this. Um, again, I usually use regular homemade dough, but this is what I'm using tonight. This is what I'm using because that's what I bought. And then when this comes out, I'll do a little olive oil or garlic butter on top to make it all shiny and pretty. And I'm not sure how long we're going to have to cook this. Probably about 15, 20 minutes. I would check it just to be sure. Speak for yourself on the bottle tipping. Yeah, I'm not tipping the bottle tonight, okay? I'm drinking white chocolate peppermint tea. Because I was freezing cold by the time I got home with mine. Move that off of there. All right, so I'm going to stick this bad boy in my 400 degree oven. We're going to check it in like 15 minutes. Like 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Oh, yeah, you know what I mean. You'd think I was tipping the bottle tonight, though, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? All right, guys. So, I'm still perfecting some barbecue sauces. Um, again, I do have, I have a plan. So, I have, I have to mess with my cranberry chipotle recipe a little bit more. And then I think that my Carolina apple ginger recipe is good to go. And then I have another one I'm going to play with, but I'm not going to announce it yet. Not going to announce it yet. But 
I'm excited about it. I hope you guys are too. BBK BBQ, come on. Fruit infused barbecue sauce, you know you want some of that. And again, I've never ever eaten Carolina barbecue sauce in my life. So tasting it, I mean, it tastes all right to me. I think it's pretty good. But that's the way I'm gonna rock it. That's the way I'm gonna rock it. So make sure, other note, that first of all, keep an eye out for the barbecue sauce. Um, Keep sharing the love. We're still trying to get to that 300. Tomorrow starts December 1st. And I don't remember exactly what day I did my first episode, but I'm going to find it eventually. <laughs> I would love to get to 300 subscribers by the end of December. We're like halfway there. Like halfway there. I think there's like 152 subscribers on the YouTube channel. So keep subscribing and sharing the love, you guys. I appreciate it because I come every week twice a week for you guys and you guys keep showing up for me that's why I keep joining you and showing you fun tips and tricks and drinks and all kinds of great stuff so that's what I have for you I'll take a picture of this as soon as it comes out and until then I will see you guys we don't have suck it up Saturday this week I'll see you guys next Monday for Monday morsels all right guys I love you all thank you